Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 6 of exercise 1.3. The question says look at several examples of rational numbers in the form of p upon q where q must not be equal to 0 and where p and q are integers with no common factors other than 1 and having terminating decimals representations. Can you guess what property Q must satisfy? As I, as I have already discussed in the first question that what are terminating decimal expansions means if I am writing this as 2 upon 5 so obviously there is 5 in the denominator so this will terminate and this will be 0.4 same as uh, if I am writing this as 0.28 or 0.357 obviously these are terminating terminating means these are if I write this as 28 upon this can be written as upon 100 and this can be written as 57, 5, uh, 357 upon 1000 so one thing is very clear that whenever we have to terminate a decimal expansion there should be zero in the denominator otherwise it cannot terminate. Now if you want to have zero in the denominator there is only one condition where you can find a zero. If you want to find zero that will be by multiplying 5 with 2 and you will get your 10. So we can say that whenever there is zero in the denominator it will terminate or it must have two in the denominator five in the denominator or both in these three conditions the term the exp expression will terminate if i take the example of this there is five in the denominator so it should terminate and if it has power of 2 or power of 5 or power of both 2 and 5 then only then also it will terminate for example if, if I am writing as 5.8 so obviously this can be written as 5 2 upon 3 this is the power of 2 there is only 2 in the denominator so it will obviously terminate when you divide this by this will be So when you divide this, the result will be 0.625. So this is the case here. So we can say that if there is an expression in a form of p upon q, this must where p and q are integers and the common factor of these two is 1. So q must be equal to 2 raised to power something multiplied by 5 raised to power something. So it must qualify, satisfy this condition. Then only it will terminate. Then only it will be terminating decimals. So Q must be the multiplication of 2 and 5 or the power of 2 and the power of 5. So this is how we can solve this question. I hope you have understood how to solve. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.